G'day folks, what is going on? Jacob coming at you with another video. In this one, I wanna to talk to you about what my average week looks like running my seven-figure online business, seven-figure information business, whatever you wanna call it. We sell courses, coaching, consulting, virtual events, that kind of stuff. Um, and that's what we help our clients do uh, as well. Okay, so uh, wanted to break down what the, the average week looks like. And I've made some tweaks to this in the last six months in particular. And uh, it's something that's always evolving. I'm always trying to kind of experiment with what the calendar looks like to make it better. But I've also had some some realizations recently that have that have really helped as well. So it's, I figured I'd just walk you through the week and there might be something you can you can take out of it and implement into your own business that will help you with your with your work output, your productivity, your whatever you're trying to achieve by by digging into your calendar and your schedule a little bit more, okay? If you haven't already, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a like if you get any value from it at any point. Uh, check out the first link in the description. That's gonna take you over to a page where you can uh, enter your details and get a free video where I break down how we work with our clients on their information business. So selling courses, coaching, consulting, et cetera, and how we set it up and structure it up in a way where each day they can write 200 to 500 words of content for their audience right? They might send it out to their email list. They might put it in, in their Facebook group, maybe both, just repurpose it. And that becomes the main fuel to grow that business to fifty to $100,000 uh, per month. Okay. So if that's something that sounds of interest to you, if you're in that business or you want to get into that business, check out that link and uh, enter your information. I think you'll find it uh, quite helpful. Okay. But with that out of the way, let's, uh, let's break this down. So let me take you back to, um, I guess, the first half of 2021. Right, so I, I obviously do this full time. I, I left my corporate job back in 2018, and uh, it, it's a funny paradox when you when you work full time, all you want is time freedom. But then when you get time freedom, it can very quickly get away from you if you don't manage it correctly, and it's very very easy to waste just days on end, days on end, days on end, um, and it almost becomes a little bit like anxiety inducing if you if you don't have any structure like that's there's kind of this kind of paradoxical effect where you go from having a jammed structure and that causing you stress to having a completely open structure and that causing you stress because productivity goes through the floor and all these kind of things so i kind of learned that the hard way and and then you know maybe two years ago really started paying attention to the structure and then call it eight or nine months ago i, I made some pretty big shift to it. So for a long time, it was just kind of like the week was open. There were certain things that were in there. I had slots where I'd work on my content. I had slots where I'd do certain things, but it wasn't as kind of well thought out as it is as it is now. I took on a new mentor last year, Travis, uh, Travis Sago. If you guys haven't checked out his stuff, I'd recommend doing it. And one of the things that he spoke about was that um, he's got his work week condensed down into, into three days, okay? Now, he's the first to admit that he works more than that, but the days where you are obligated to show up for client calls, group calls, those kind of things is is narrowed down and condensed. Okay. And I, I heard that and I really liked that idea. So I, I ran with that as well in my own business. And it's been it's been a pretty powerful thing. So the way the general week is is structured up now is, you know, weekend will happen. I'll, I'll typically do a little bit on the weekend, depending on what we've got going on. I might write some content, film some videos, nothing too strenuous, just stuff that I enjoy doing because I kind of view my business as both my business and my hobby. So the Monday morning will roll around, right? And Mondays is always, this is going to sound a bit funny. Mondays is a me day. Now Mondays is always clear. Okay. I want Monday clear to be able to get clarity on what we're going to tackle that week to deal with any issues that might've popped up over the weekend, to plan the week out, to create content, to keep moving forward any big projects that I'm working on at any given time, there might be kind of one, two or three of them. Mondays is is always clear. You know, I might do some reading on a Monday, whatever. It's, it's essentially time for me to do whatever work that I wanna do in and on the business, okay? And what I try and do is have a big focus for any given month, right? So as we sit here today in February, 2022, at the time I'm filming this, a big, focus point for the business for this month has been slashing my to-do list because I want to get out more and more and more out of the weeds and and just taking more and more little admin tasks that have accumulated um, and getting other people on board to, to help with them so that I can focus um, on a couple of main things, which is creating content, be that written or video, um, creating offers and delivering on our offers and getting the business to run on its own accord for all of the other moving parts between those kind of two bookends of the business. So that's been our that's been our goal for February. So on those days where that are open and they're kind of me days, it's typically 
focused around whatever that major task is, okay? So that might be the Monday. Tuesdays are the days that I do my one-to-one calls, okay? Now, one-to-one calls can pop up in one of three ways. Um, I have a very, very small number of ongoing one-to-one clients, which at the moment I think is three. Those calls are always on a Tuesday. Okay, the second way they can pop up is via my inner circle program. There's a one-to-one component to that uh, where I'll meet periodically with each member throughout the year and uh, so they can book a time. That nine times out of 10 is on the Tuesday. Sometimes it'll overflow into the Wednesday morning if we need the capacity. And then the third one is kind of ad hoc consulting. And this will pop up from time to time if I get a message on Facebook, if my assistant gets a message, support gets an email saying, hey, interested in working with Jacob because I don't I don't publicly promote my one-to-one coaching and I don't want to do a lot of it because it's not leveraged for me, but there is an opportunity to do it. We'll send folks over a Calendly link where they can pay and uh, they might book one call, two calls, three calls whatever. And then that would also be in that time. So Tuesday is my one-to-one day with a bit of a contingency for Wednesday mornings before lunch, if necessary. Okay. The other thing that happens on Wednesday mornings is uh, I run a program with two other guys. They drive the majority of the calls for this program now, but from time to time, I'll jump on those calls. That happens on a Wednesday morning as well. Wednesday afternoon is usually pretty clear. Um, And then Thursday is my group call day. So that's both um, calls for me getting on as part of the mastermind that I'm part of and hosting a group call with my inner circle members. So what we've done there or what I've done there is condensed down Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursdays are the days where I'm going to be on the phone. And what that leaves is Monday and Friday completely clear. Right now on those phone days, it's like an hour here and an hour there. So there's still a significant, significant amount of time between those calls to work on other stuff. And and usually I'll try and get them all clumped in as close together as possible. So for example, on Thursday, I start my day at seven with, with my call um, for the mastermind I'm part of. That then immediately rolls into my inner circle call, which is typically wrapped up by about 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, and then the rest of the day is clear. Right, so it's not about spending the entire day on the phone. That would be that would be hell. And and one of the key things we actually help people do is spend less time on the phone. But it's about the calls that you do have, grouping them into set days. And the reason that I the reason that I wanted to do that was was one so that there was no surprises and I knew um, when I needed to be in my office to show up for calls because otherwise you know I don't I don't really need to be in here if I don't if I don't want to be. It makes it easier to travel. Right. If we take a weekend trip somewhere, it has, that means Mondays and Fridays are always clear. If we want to head off somewhere, I can um, I can know that I'm not going to have to show up for calls Mondays and Fridays. I just need to be around my computer, usually just Tuesdays and Thursdays, sometimes on a Wednesday as well. So it gives a lot more flexibility to the calendar, but it also prior- prioritizes really, really clear, focused work time where I can work uninterrupted without having to get on the phone and move the ball forward on the major projects that we are working on. The other benefit of it is when I'm working with clients, that takes a certain headspace, okay? That takes a certain um, mindset that you need to to be in because you need to be present and thinking about their stuff and not thinking about your own shit. And so grouping those together means that on the days where you have those calls, you're in the zone, you focus on that, and then you can drop back out rather than um, what I see a lot of people do is is they'll have a fully open calendar where calls can pop up at any time, right? And you know it, it might be you're going to bed one night and you realize, oh shit, now I've got a call tomorrow morning. That type of surprise and that type of uncertainty will really start to eat away to eat away at you after a while. Um, if you're trying to get things off the ground, that's fine. But I would recommend putting more and more structure in place around that as you grow. The uh, that that type of that type of um, uncertainty is not what you want in your um in your calendar you want you want to know okay i need to be in the zone for this on this day and then and then we can move on the other thing that um sits in front of each of these days is i'll typically wake up about six o'clock in the morning alarm set for just a nudge before and uh i'll wake up i'll get my i'll get my coffee i'll grab my laptop or it's raining today i'll come into the office and uh the first thing that i want to do each day is I wanna get my daily piece of content done. Okay, I mentioned at the start that you know we help our people and, and it's the same as what we do, is getting that piece of daily written content in front of our audience. So 
I'll either write it in real time or I'll write another piece that will get scheduled out to go out during the week. The reason that I prioritize that is because that's the main fuel that carries the business. Okay, that's the main fuel that moves people along the customer journey towards making a purchasing decision. It's it's how we build relationships with people at scale is, is through the content. And so that is a priority. And I wanna get that done first up in the morning, have some coffee when I'm in a good headspace, everything's clear. And I find it's a really good creative time for me to sit and uh, sit and write. It also then means I'm not thinking about it all day. I get it done first and then I can get on with the day and do what I have to do on that given day. So they're kind of the main moving parts. I've got the the Monday and Friday bookends where they're always clear. Usually Wednesdays is pretty clear as well. And they're the days that I really move the needle forward. I've got designated, I've got a designated one-to-one day and I've got a designated group call day um, where I do those activities. And then the balance of the time again is spent moving the needle on the major activities. And I'll time chunk those as well. It really just depends on what's on the agenda at that point in time in terms of the tasks and the and the things that we're working on it's not just like it's all open space it will be <clears throat> it will be structured and it will depend on the major goal that we are um that we are working towards with youtube content i don't really have like set times in the calendar where i'll sit down and film uh, i have tried that in the past and and what i found rather works better is when an idea for a video strikes um, or I keep it a, an ideas file on my computer here as well. I'll pull that up and I'll look at it. And and if if I get a spark or a, or a catalyst to really run with a particular type of video, I'll do it at that point in time. I found you know setting in times to to film videos um, just didn't just didn't fit well with my style. But it, but it might for you, and, and it may fit in better with your um, may fit in better with your calendar. Okay, so they're really the main moving parts about how I structure up my week. The the morning content creation has been critical. It gets that out of the way. Um, I do it at a time of the day when I'm in a really, really good headspace to be creative and to write. Then we get into the relevant sequence of any given day. I would recommend you start chunking your calls together that you do have to do. I think you'll find that really, really helpful uh, in terms of planning out the week and make sure you're giving yourself plenty of clear time where you can shut the door, get your stuff done and move the needle forward on whatever the major project is okay and if you're sitting there and you're like oh i've got like six seven different things i would recommend making a major focus for the month and just chipping away at that every single day if you get to mid-month and you've done it all cool you can move on to the next thing but have a clear 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 focus for any given month and make that the absolute priority in those moments of focused you work okay a little bit all over the place there but but hopefully you you pulled something out of that and uh there's something in there that you can that you can give give a go to. Just think about what your obligations are in your business. Think about how you can lump them together in terms of days in your calendar, and then you can start to plan the time that you work and what you work on around that with no surprises. It's gonna be certain, you know when to show up, all that kind of good stuff. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Hope you have a fantastic, fantastic week. Check out that first link in the description. I'll talk to you all soon. Cheers.